hey everyone once again welcome back and hope you are enjoying this series so in the previous video we learned that how we can return the data using api resource we also learned that how we can pull the specific columns and now the time is to the store the data into the database using api right okay uh, so here uh, let's uh, close this one this one and here i'm going to uh, create now this store right and this store contain this uh, request and we need also validations right okay and we will also validate our user so first create a form request to validate the user request right okay uh, so first here I'm going to return this uh, request to all right request all here and then i'm going to go here and create to i'm going to make this duplicate here okay duplicate and then I'll make this the store oops not uh, style it's a uh, store okay and this would be the post request this one and then this would be the same just in the post okay and uh, now i want to pass the data here and this data will be uh, came here right and uh, how you can pass the param so you can pass this using the uh, ww form url encoded but i will prefer to use this raw and i'm going to use this json right here i'm going to add uh, json tribute like uh, i'm going to pass the id of my user right user id i'm going to pass this so for now i want to pass this so one user id right and then i want to pass this so a name task name right so this would be the task one right and then status status and status would be the three or also one right i'm going to uh, send this uh, request right using this store and then this will be received uh, here right i'm returning these all of the one okay now let's send this request and yes we are getting the user id task and status right okay but here i want to validate the user request so for example here uh, user is not passing this uh, name right he is passing this empty value so if i send this out so it's just accepting this as a null i don't want to accept the null value i want to validate the user input okay, this would be the this would uh, require me so i'm not going to add the validation here using this uh, request to a request to validate method by i'm going to use a form request so form request to uh, are used for separation purposes our logic is separated into the other files and we can uh, modify it easily and we can also reuse these form request right so that's the main purpose of this one and solid says that a single class is one plus part of single functionality so you know, php artisan make request and uh, here in the api uh, in the api we have a task so and uh, we can in the task we can make this uh, create request like this but in this case uh, we have a request which we can use this in the store and update in the same right so that's why i'm going to create this uh, task request i'm not going to create these two one because both are identical i will reuse this request task request okay request task request and here i'm going to first to return this true right because if you want to use this you need to turn this true and then here you need to pass your rules right okay uh, the first one would be the name and name would be i'm not going to use this pipe here like this name should be string like this why i'm not using this out and by the way in this series i'm also telling you that what are the best practices um 
best practices and standards which will help you in your career right so i'm guiding you all of the things professionally right so why you should not to add this into this format it will work but why not because for example in future you have a rule uh, you have a custom rule so how you will add the custom rule here new rules so you can't add the php class here but if you will use this uh, array here like this uh, required and then and this would be the string like this so you can use this custom custom rule here and if you don't know about the custom rule just read it about from the documentation these rules uh, are basically a custom rule so you can specify your own logic into the, this custom rule right which are not defined in the laravel okay so this is uh, this is uh, the way why i'm recommending you to use the uh, array not the pipe okay and third one is maximum validation always apply this maximum validation otherwise your database will throw an exception and your um, tables and your column values are exposed right so make sure to validate it okay because it will show that trunk um, if the user will enter 300 characters it will throw that oh, uh, user name column is truncated right throw this yes. okay and then status and then this status should be integer right and it's also required and uh, integer and you can also specify its name okay and let's close this one and here i'm going to use this now so it's a task request hit enter so it will be added at the top so not this one it's uh, this one right okay and if i save this one and now if i will send this request so it will properly validate that to user task uh, task shouldn't be empty send this out and yes it's throwing this like this and why this one is throwing because it's uh, telling that to uh, you cannot use these uh, you, know, you cannot to uh, skip this name and why it's behaving like this weird is playing this html because uh, if you are using this here in the header you are not accepting it as a json so it will display this uh, uh, html as a mm, exception right so how to skip this out how to escape this html so simply add this uh, accept key accept and then value would be application slash json and now send this request it will uh, escape this html yes now it's so escape the html and it's telling us name field is required and the uh, front end engineer can pull these errors and then uh, display the into the uh, task name field right so that is the beauty of these validations right and now i'm going to save this into the database right okay uh, so here you can add the task and you can use this uh, uh, request all and you can create this at once but i'm not going to use this i'm going to add this using custom one okay and uh, here i'm going to choose this name uh, name would be the request to name and then status status would be the request to status like this and uh, after this we can also return response right it's totally up to you that how we respond right like i'm going to respond the json and in the json i'm going to pass a message uh, task to save the successfully right and also i'm going to pass this 201 so it means that uh, our request is sent to successfully right it's completed successfully so 201 mean that success code save this one and now hit this again send this button send and it's still name is required because we need to fill this name here right so the task one uh, save this one send this request 
search and general uh, user id doesn't have a default value right why because here we are not accepting the user id so pass this to user id and then request to user id like this save this one and now let's send this request again then and yes task saved successfully and there is our 201 status right so if i visit my database or even if i go here and go to this index and i'm going to patch all of the task here so it will return this task one and yes task one is here so it means that our uh, task is created successfully in the database so let me also check the video size and yes it's going to be longer so in the next video i'm going to uh, shoot further show stuff and then update stuff and destroy stuff so thank you so much for watching the video so i'll meet you in the next one bye bye